In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Learn Dash integration with ThriveCart. Coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. So when you sell online courses, one of the best way to really make money with your uh, online course website is to have the ability to do upsells, downsells, and split tests, and also uh, cart recovery. So really there are two main options that I mainly recommend. So if you wanna use this exclusively on WordPress, this is where you would have your funnel system and your system that does all the upsells, downsells, um, a B testing and so on run on WordPress. And the best way to do this is with cart flows. I mean, hands down is the best plugin that does your um, marketing. Now, if you prefer to have this on a separate platform, the platform that I recommend is ThriveCard. It pretty much has the same features as cart flows. Uh, so you can do upsells, downsells. You can also do A B testing and also do cart recovery. So, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you set up this new integration step by step. And to be honest, it's really fun and exciting because for those of you, like I said, that prefer to have this on a separate platform, you know, this is the best integration that we have now for LearnDash. Now, before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy LearnDash using my affiliate link, you also get access to my Learn Dash Mastery course. The course teaches you how to create an online course website from scratch and helps you set it up. And once you're done with this course, you're going to have an up and running website that is ready to go and is able to sell your products. All right, so without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Right, so over here now, uh, I'm on ThriveCart. This is my main dashboard. So the first thing we need to do here is to make sure we create a product. So let's go ahead and do that. So to create a product, you want to come over here on product and then you can just name it. Okay. So let's call this my course. Okay. So that's going to be the name of our product. I'm going to click here on create product. And this is also going to be a digital product. So I'm going to click on create new product. Okay. Now here's the thing. This is where we need to add our product name. So I'm just going to say my amazing product here. And this is going to be the, the product URL. Okay, so let's name it. In fact, let's call it my course. It's easier that way. So now the checkout URL becomes my course. Okay, so the good thing about this is right now we are working on test mode, which is fantastic. So this will not be published right away. Okay, you can also give it a description here if you wanted to, just so that you know which course it is. All right, so now that we have this all set, my course name or my product name is my course. Let's go now and click on next. So this is where we set the price. So here it's in US dollars. So that's pretty much okay. Now I'm going to click on this plus button here to set up my price. So maybe this is say $99. Okay, that's pretty cool. One time fee, that's fine. But if you want to set up a subscription, split pay uh, and so on, you can also go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to leave this at a one time price. Now over here, I mean, the limited quantity available, I'll leave this as it is. Now let's go ahead and go to the next step. So over here now, I'm going to leave this as a one-time payment, okay? And then go to save. So now I've set up my price. Next, I have to go ahead now and go to the next step. And this is where you can add an order bump if you wanted to, and this could be a digital product. Now, this is where now you find the similarities between uh, cart flows and thrive cart. The main difference here is Cart Flows is a plugin which works on your actual website, okay? And uh, ThriveCart is pretty much a separate platform. Okay, so I'm going to cancel here. I don't really want to add an order bump. So let's go next. And then over here, you want to set up your processors. So you want to make sure you've got Stripe and uh, PayPal also set. So if you set it up here, you can see I already have accounts here. If I hit save, I can now move on to the next part. And I don't really want to have a affiliates promoting my product. So let's go ahead and click on next. Right. So this is where now you can add your support URL. And again, I'm going to leave that as it is. In fact, I have to add a valid URL. All right. So this can also display on the invoice. Next. 
So now we can take a look at the design. So you can have a standard sales card embedded and so on. So if you wanted to embed this on your WordPress website, you can actually embed this on your site and this would work fine. And then over here, you can go in and launch the editor and design this checkout page. So as you can see, it's got a drag and drop system here. Let's say you want to add a video, you can just drag it here and then you can go and link the actual video. And to link, you can just come over here or add your embed uh, code and this video and this video will show over here. On the payments as well, you can see credit card and PayPal are shown and this will work very, very easily. Okay, so um, I'm going to hit next. And as you can see, this is going to be the success page and I'm just gonna hit complete. All right, so you can also add some tracking if you wanted to. So you can add your Google Pixel here or you can add a custom pixel if you need to do that there. So pretty much this is how you set it up. Now, finally, over here now, you can add some rules if you wanted to. But you know what? We're not going to go into rules, uh, upsells, downsells and all that stuff. All we want to do here is to create a product on Thrivecart. Now that we've created this product, the next step now is to come back over here and this is where we need to now go to learn dash and we want to come all the way down here to add-ons. So you do need an add-on first for this to work. And you can see here the very first one is Thrive Cut for Learn Dash. So if I click here on activate, this is going to activate uh, Thrive Cut for Learn Dash. So this will take a bit of time. And now it has been installed. The next part is we need to activate it. So I just need to find it first. And here it is. So it's already activated. And to uh, see if it's activated properly, what you want to do is to just hover over here. Okay. And you're going to see an entry here which says ThriveCart. So that's fantastic. So if I click here on ThriveCart, I can now go in and set my course. So you can see here, I'd gone ahead and created this draft. So let's delete this because that is how you are going to start your page. So over here on the settings, let's take a look and see what we have here. So this part here is very important because this is where you want to go and set your API key and your webhook. So this is what joins pretty much the two platforms, Thrivecart and also Learn Dash. So to get this, you want to go to uh, settings, API and hooks, and then you this is where you get your ThriveCut API key. Okay, so I'm not going to show my uh, API key because of course, once someone sees that, it could be compromised easily, but you can find it by going to your account and then going into settings, API keys and hooks, and this is where you'd paste it over here. So now let's say you've gone ahead, you've pasted it here, back over here now, what you need to do is to create your Thrive products and this is how we're going to link them. So I'm going to click here. So let's call this my course. All right. And uh, the slug here is going to be my dash course. Right. So over here, we have our Thrive Cart ID. And the really cool thing here is if you click on this question mark here, you can also get um, the description of what we need to add here. So now this says unique ThriveCut product ID that you've created in your ThriveCut account. So back over here now, I'm going to go to products and I am going to look for my ID. So in fact, let me just list them here. And this is it. It's my course. So first of all, you can see our product here is in test mode. So we want to go in and uh, just um, edit it. And let's click here on live. Save. Okay, so now that this is saved and it is live, back over here now, what we are going to do is to um, associate the courses. So we want that when someone buys this product here, which is on this URL. In fact, let's uh, take a quick look at this URL so we can see what it looks like. So pretty much this is my course. The total payment is $99. And this is where you can add your email address and the payment here. So in fact, let's add our email address. And then when you hit continue, it now takes us to the payments, which is the credit card, which is set up in Stripe or PayPal. So once you add your information here, it's pretty much going to uh, go through the whole payment process. Now, once it's gone through all of that, this is now where it will link up with your website. And this is where it will give access to whatever course it is, which we are going to set up now. So the access here, all the associated courses are going to be here. So let's say that product needs to have access to one course. Now, bear in mind, I've already gone ahead and created these courses ahead of time. So this is where you can say, okay, you know what? Uh, they need to have access to my course. 
Okay, if they have need, if they need to have access to multiple courses, this is where you can hold down the command key and choose two courses or three courses or whatever it is. But for now, I am going to set it up as my course. So now the main part which we need to add here to make sure that our products match with uh, LearnDash is to add our product ID. So the question now is, where do I find the product ID? And to be honest, uh, this took me a bit of time as well to try and find out where this product ID was. So let me show you how to find this product ID. So back over here on Thrivecut, what you need to do is to go to the actual product. So I'm going to click here on products. And all you need to do now is to click on edit. So when you click edit, you notice here we have this number here, 24. This this is our product ID. So it will show on the URL. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that. And then back over here on our site, we're going to match this with the product ID that we have in Thrivecart. And once we're happy with that, all we have to do now is to hit publish. Okay, so now that we've linked my course here and the product that we've created here, which is also called my course, this is fantastic. So what happens now is when someone goes on our website and uh, clicks the buy now and they buy the product through Thrivecart, this is now how that customer is going to be linked with your Learn Dash course. So this is critical because by doing that, Thrivecart is taking care of all the payments. So this is also where you can add your upsells, your downsells, your order bumps, and you can also do A-B testing. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you're going to be notified when I release new tutorials. Until then, take care and see you soon.